So I'm, j I'm blocking the gate with three boards and then uh, another minute or so I'm jingling my keys and opening the garage and we come in the garage and I'm sitting there for a while and maybe five or ten minutes all of a sudden the garage door opens up a bit. A lone police officer comes around the corner with his gun drawn, pointed at my head. We both raise our hands going, oh now what, what is this? And he radios in, it's the owner and then proceeds with the gun. Where is it? What do you got? Let me have it. What's that? What's in there? What's that? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but stand down. I'm a retired sheriff deputy. Unless you got a piece of paper, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. I've got political friends. You're not going to get away with this. This isn't proper. Let's conduct this outside uh, where it's safe for you and me and everyone involved. You're making us scared. Uh, he then said, Okay, if you're not going to be cooperative, I'll kill your friend. Where is it? You know, and then I had to hand him over my property. Uh, after a while, the other police came, and then they left. Um, they're prepared to jump back over the fence that they damaged, uh, but I opened it up for them. Uh, they made no attempt to arrest me. Just he seized my property and uh, was good. I think he might have been willing to kill us. Chester, New York, and I uh, was victimized by a lone police officer who committed armed robbery and trespassed on my property. The incident that happened at our house is one of hundreds, thousands, maybe even more that go on in this city, uh, and the police just seem to have a license to uh, abuse citizens without any kind of, uh, not even a slap on the hand doesn't happen. My name is Judy Dean, and we had this case of um, uh, police abusing Mark at, our, at my house, at our house, and uh, you know our story is in terms of the details that happened, but even more than that is when we tried to bring this to the attention and go through the uh, review system that there is for the police, uh, we were dismissed almost immediately. We live in uh, the northeast side of Rochester, it is an inner city neighborhood, and uh, we did have, this originate, originated with a 911 call. And when the officer uh, said to Mark, uh, oh, we had a 911 call about a burglary, uh, Mark said, gee, was it our neighbors next door? And we've had um, some difficulties with our neighbor, neighbors next door. And the officer explicitly said, no, it was not the neighbors, it was a passerby. Now, a passerby wouldn't be able to see our garage. It wouldn't make any sense for a passerby on the street to report a possible burglary. And the next day and the day after, our neighbor confided both in Mark and myself separately uh, that it was her or her sister who called, who called uh, the police and made that 911 call. So, uh, for some reason, the officer felt a nece necessary to uh, um, claim that uh, the 911 call was made by somebody else. And um, so that, that's just a little bit of background besides, so, you know, they were able to say, oh, it was a burglary. And that's why the officer entered my property without a warrant. Uh, the property that was taken, there was, no property there was no property report made. We did file a Freedom of Information Act to, to get some information, and we got basically just about no information. There was no report written. There was no property uh, uh, report written. Uh, e even though on the day of the incident, 
I spoke to uh, the sergeant and the lieutenant, um, and, I, and I said this property was taken. They said, oh yes, we know, it was turned into the station. So apparently, uh, this is bigger than just one police officer uh, not telling the truth here. I would like to see someone come forward, either from the state police, the U.S. Marshals, some service of the community, whether the sheriff or the police itself, that has some corrective capabilities in this case and take action to where the citizens can be confident uh, that they're going to be protected and not victimized not only by the thugs that might be out there out there but the thugs that have badges now. I understand that there is a uh, some legislation to oversee the Civilian Review Board and look at uh, making some changes and I think the report is going to come out soon and I guess I'd like to weigh in here. I feel like this may be an opportunity to say, uh, you know, here's a perfect example of where, you know, it, it, nobody got killed. People did get scared, very scared, very, very, uh, it was very frightening to have uh, a gun held to their heads, you know, and, and, it's, and it's a case where uh, something should be done about it.